Manx cat versus American bobtail cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Manx is known for his lack of a tail, but not every Manx is completely tailless. Some, known as longies, have a normal length tail, and others, known as stumpies, have short tails. A Manx with no tail is called a rumpy and one with just a rise of bone at the end of the spine is known as a riser. You will see only rumpies and risers in the show ring, but cats with tails can be used in Manx breeding programs. A Manx has other distinguishing characteristics as well, including a round head with large round eyes, a stout, powerful body with a broad chest, short back and broad, round rear end, short front legs, and long hind legs with muscular thighs. The long rear legs give him the appearance of a rabbit and maybe the source of the cabot myth. With his short tail, tufted ears and toes, and powerful body, the American bobtail has a distinctively wild look, similar to that of a bobcat, but he's a domestic cat through and through. He ranges in size from medium to large and matures slowly, taking up to three years to reach his full size. Since this breed is distinguished by his short tail, it's as good a place as any to begin a description of his looks. Each tail is unique. Most are one to four inches long, but they can be shorter or longer. The ideal bobtail is flexible and expressive, long enough to be visible above the back when the cat is alert, and maybe straight with a fat pad at the end slightly curved or kinked, or bumpy along the length of the tail. Kittens are almost never completely tailless, as sometimes happens with the Manx. The Manx began life as a mouser, and he retains his fine hunting skills and alert nature. With a Manx around the house, you don't need a watchdog, you've got a watch cat who reacts rapidly and will growl threateningly or maybe even go on the attack at the sight or sound of anything out of the ordinary. If he sees that you aren't alarmed, he'll settle back down. When he's not protecting his family and property from mice, stray dogs, or other threats, however, the Manx is a mellow fellow, an even-tempered and affectionate cat who enjoys serene surroundings. That's not to say he is inactive. This is a happy, playful cat who likes to follow his favorite person through the house and assist with whatever he or she is doing. When you are ready to relax, though, the Manx will be in your lap, ready for a comfy nap. If no lap is available, he'll curl up on the nearest available spot that allows him to keep an eye on you. He speaks in a quiet trill and will carry on a conversation if you talk to him. The Manx has an adaptable nature if he is exposed to activity and other people as a young kitten. He will enjoy meeting new people, greeting them with a gentle head butt or cheek rub, and can adapt to a new home or family if such an upheaval in his life is necessary. This is a smart cat who can learn tricks, including fetch and come, and is willing to walk on a leash if taught early. He often likes to ride in the car, making him a great companion on long-distance trips. It's not unusual for the Manx to enjoy playing in the water, he is an island cat, and you may find him turning on faucets or fishing in a fountain. He is also good at learning how to open doors, so be sure anything you don't want him to have is under lock and key. Unlike most cats, the Manx is willing to accept boundaries, and will usually respect your wishes if you tell him no when he jumps on the counter or scratches on your sofa. Just be sure you give him an acceptable alternative as thanks for his nice behavior. The Manx is highly people-oriented. Choose him only if you can give him plenty of time and attention daily. Let's say you love the Golden Retriever's personality, but his size and energy level are a bit more than you can handle. American bobtail lovers say you should take a look at their cat instead. He's a lover with a heart of gold who is devoted to his people, follows them around, loves to play, walks nicely on a leash, after training, of course, and welcomes guests with a smile. This is a smart cat who enjoys puzzle toys, learning tricks, and playing fetch. He isn't as vocal as some breeds, but he communicates his pleasure with chirps, clicks, and trills, as well as the standard purr and meow. The American bobtail has an adaptable nature, so he's a good traveler. Long-distance truckers and retrievers find him to be an excellent companion. The cats have also found a niche with some psychotherapists because of their loving and intuitive nature. That same adaptability and kindness make him a good family companion and suited to a variety of lifestyles, from relaxed to rowdy. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Manx are generally healthy, but the following diseases have been seen in the breed. Arthritis of the tailbone in cats with partial tails. Corneal dystrophy, cloudiness that begins to develop when a kitten is approximately four months old. Manx syndrome, a collection of birth defects that may include a spine that is too short, urinary tract defects, and problems with the bowels and digestion. The condition affects approximately 20% of Manx cats, most often rumpies, and usually shows up by the time a kitten is 4 months old, 
a good reason to wait until that age before bringing a Manx kitten home. Bobtails are prone to hip dysplasia, a hereditary disease that has the potential to cause crippling, lameness, and arthritis of the hip joints. Although generally healthy cats, some bobtail cats are born without tails. Bobtail cats without tails are known as rumpies. The soft, short coat of the Manx is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. Check the rear end closely to make sure feces aren't clinging to the fur surrounding the anus, and clean it if necessary to prevent the cat from smearing poop on carpets or furniture. The American Bobtail's coat doesn't usually mat or tangle as long as you comb or brush it a couple of times a week. You may notice that the cat sheds more in the spring and fall, so it can be a good idea to groom him more frequently during those times. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep Manx and American Bobtail as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. If he is introduced to them in kittenhood, the active and social Manx is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority and can learn to leave birds and fish alone. An adult Manx may not appreciate children as readily, especially if he is used to a quiet household. The social and laid-back American Bobtail likes to play, so he's a good choice for families with children. Always supervise younger children to make sure they don't hurt the cat by pulling his fur or twisting his tail. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.